What's up gamers? GamerDot here. This is the guide to help you complete the week 12 weekly quest, Place Seismographs on Fault Lines. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please hit that button and show me that support as well. Please do consider using my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is GamerDot, all one word, all caps. Greatly appreciate your support. So for this challenge, you need to place three seismographs on fault lines. So the, the three locations where you're going to place these seismographs are marked on the map. You simply need to show up at each of these locations. They can be across one or more matches. And you'll see a little box and you're just going to interact with it to place one of the seismographs. So I'm going to start up here for a few reasons. Um, I'm going to go get that first location. Then I'm coming to the drift racetrack to get a dirt bike. And I'm going to use the dirt bike to go to Frenzy Fields. Then the location just east of Shattered Slabs. I like the dirt bike for doing this because it goes across almost any terrain terrain well. It's easy to drive and it's pretty versatile. Um, if you had the web shooters that you could have picked up at Slappy Shores, that is an option, or the ODM gear, those would probably be a little bit faster and easier than the dirt bike. They're just not as easy to get your hands on, really. And it's probably not as fast um, to start off because you'd have to go to Slappy. So I'm landing here specifically because I see loot here and I want to have a gun before I show up to place one of these seismographs. Also can't hurt to have a bit of uh, extra ammo as 10 shotgun shells, even though I didn't get shotgun shells, but it's worth checking. So as you get near these areas, you'll see the blue exclamation mark. That does mean that is where the seismograph is to be placed. You're just going to walk up to this here. You'll eventually see a prompt to interact like this. You're going to hold the square button if you're on the PS5. And there we go. That's one of three complete. So at this point, I'm going to head over, as I mentioned, to the Drift Racetrack, and that's because I want to get the dirt bike. Now I see a chest here. I might as well get a little bit more loot. can never hurt. I'm going to hop in this truck, make it go a little bit faster. Now I could have easily just driven with the truck, but driving the truck across rough terrain and hilly terrain is just a nightmare, from my experience at least. So that is why I'm just coming over here 90% of the time, maybe even more. It's, it's not 100%, uh, percent, but it's darn close. Uh, that this dirt bike will spawn and I don't mean the rogue bike if you like the rogue bike go for it But right here this dirt bike is almost always there And now I'm gonna get on the dirt bike and head to this second location, which is just in the southern part of Frenzy fields so you can hop on the bike Now of course like I'm not gonna drive straight across the map in a straight line I want to avoid places where the dirt bikes gonna get stuck, you know or in big crevasses and you know places that I can't actually drive through so I'm kind of looking at the mini-map as I drive and just paying attention and, you know, going around certain obstacles and stuff like that. I'm going to stick to the road whenever I can. It's just faster. Um, and that also means if someone starts shooting at me, I'm in a better position to just avoid the fire because I do not fight while doing challenges. That is the golden rule for me. That is just a recipe for distraction and potential disaster. So as I get close to this location, I'm going to leave my vehicle or whatever it is. If you're using the ODM gear, no big deal, or the shooters, you're, you're going to have them. Leave the your vehicle, though, if you are having a vehicle uh, somewhere nearby so you can find it easily. Interact with that second seismograph. Now hop back on the vehicle. And now it's time to head over to location three, northeast of Shattered Slabs. So, um, again, I'm basically going to start driving across in a relatively straight line. And that's why it's key to mark so I can see exactly where I'm going. I'm going to avoid going through the middle of a POI like Frenzy Fields. It's just, again, asking for trouble and drama that I do not want. Um, I'm also looking at the map just to see if there's any big obstacles, like where the river is and stuff like that. I want to avoid going through a deep part of the river and, again, getting stuck at the bottom of a little cliff face. So I'm almost there. I'm 100 meters or so out. I'm going to hop off the bike. Go up to the last seismograph, interact with it, and then the challenge will be complete. So I do hope this guide is helpful for you. Please drop a like, leave me a comment, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please hit that button, show me that support as well. Please do consider using my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is GamerDad, all one word, all caps. Have a good day, good luck with your challenges, and until the next video, this is GamerDad out.